Hello everybody. Today we have something pretty cool. It's a brand new gameplay preview for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, this was just released this morning, so uh, there were rumors yesterday that something cool was going to be unveiled today in the form of some kind of trailer or whatever, but this is actually a pretty lengthy gameplay preview of 13 and a half minutes. So let's get going. I'm not sure what they're going to show off. Maybe they'll show off a few things we've already seen and maybe a couple of new things. But this will probably be the final big trailer or, or, or final big info dump before the game launches at the end of the month. So let's get into it. Welcome, trainers. Thanks Hello. For joining us today for a preview of the upcoming game. Okay, cool. Legends it's going to be like a narrated kind of thing. Cool. Exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system. That's right. Today, I'm excited. We wanted to give you a first look at some new gameplay. Oh. Your adventure is set in the expansive Hisui region. Yeah, can't wait. It was aged long ago when it was rare for people and Pokemon to live in close harmony. In time, Hisui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is some new, some new gameplay we're probably going to see here. Sides by areas with distinct environments. Oh, nice. Rich in natural features and plays host to different Pokemon ecosystems. One such area oh. is the Obsidian Fieldlands, oh. which you can see the trainer exploring here. The area is filled with Pokemon that call meadows and forests their home. Each area in Hisui has loads mm, of This looks so good. And you should make sure to collect a variety of different raw materials as you explore. Oh yeah, they'll be crafting and materials material collecting. Many items Sweet. That will help you on your journey, <gasps> it's Bidoof. Including healing items, lures, smoke bombs. Look at Bidoof. He's like, what's up? And more. Your Pokemon team can help you collect these materials too. You can find oh. useful resources across the region. Oh, I see. Oh, around it. Oh, that's cool. I see it. That's that's neat. Growing in the wild grass, defeating or catching Pokemon, or knocking items out of trees. Oh, awesome. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected. Oh, sweet. Craft right from the base camp. Nice. Oh, all right. That's cool. Looking good so far. All kinds of Pokemon will appear depending on <gasps> the, the time best one of them all, Badoof. Different species of Pokemon also have different temperaments. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Badoof doesn't care, man. <laughs> Some species, like Starly, oh no, no, and will run away catch him. See you approaching. There are even aggressive Pokemon oh. who attack you should they spot you in the wild. <laughs> He's like, nope. If an aggressive Pokemon spots you. Or if you fail to catch it on your first oh, watch attempt, out. <laughs> the Pokemon will enter an alert state. In this state, all Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Ah, Pokemon. I see. In order to catch a Pokemon in this state, you must battle it. You can initiate a battle by throwing a Pokeball containing... That's kind of cool. So if you kind of, if you alert it to your presence, then you can't just throw a ball at it. So you kind of force you into some battles there. Ooh, we're seeing the fight menu and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Oh, nice. And... Got him. <laughs> nice. You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, oh, I see. Pokemon will distract it. The Pokemon will then start eating. While eating, oh. the Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for <laughs> a backstroke. Cool. Like a Baneer, just in the water. <laughs> you got a ball of mud. When encountering a oh, there's a Tangrove. You have to be careful. These Pokemon will not think twice. Ah, oh, damn. If you take too much damage, you will black out and lose some of Oof. the items you are carrying when you fainted. Oh. Oh, this tells you what you dropped to. That's cool. We gotta be careful out there. As part of the Survey Corps, you are on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Not only ah. you need oh, you can earn money that way. That's cool, I see. But you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. When you are finished in the field, you can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. Ah, I get it. This will update your Pokedex, as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will also mm -hmm. receive funds from the professor, which you can use to buy items and materials to help you with your research. Cool. All right, here 
Wait, traverse the Hisui. Oh, sweet. The Hisui region is daunting to explore on foot. Luckily, throughout your adventure, you will encounter a number of special Pokemon that will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Weirdly, <laughs> I love it. You navigate on land faster. Yeah. Hisui and Braviary on the other hand. Oh, you can just switch like that. That's cool. Nice. I can't wait. Shasky Legion allows you to traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these Pokemon by your side, you will be able to explore the Hisui region to your heart's content. Jubilife Village is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. Mm -hmm. The Galaxy nice. Team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on how Pokemon live. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your surveying missions. After receiving a mission or a request, and preparing for your next excursion, You'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas. Oh. After you finish your survey work, cool. you'll return once more to prepare for your next task. Ah. Along with the headquarters of the galaxy team and your own lodging. Oh, you have a house. Is also home to a variety That's nice. Of different services, such as the clothier, the craft works, mm. and the trading posts, ah. where you can trade Pokemon with other players. Oh, really? That's cool. And this is looking so good. I can't wait to play this. Requests from the inhabitants of Hisui. Requests are small tasks that you do to help the residents of Hisui. Ah. Missions will advance the main story. Once you receive a mission or request, it will be added to your Arc Phone. Hey. Arc Phone is a mysterious device that mm. allows you to track your movements. Mark it's a mysterious and cell phone. To track your current missions and requests. Hey, please don't. And requests vary in their objectives. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. Mm, Alright, cool. Now let's see how this all goes. Alright, gotta catch a Shinx. Alright. He must know what Shinx's ears look like. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Sneak up on Shinx. Ooh, ooh, we're hiding. Oh, oh, can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Don't let us see us. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> and we level up the aloof. <laughs> cool. Oh, I didn't get to select it. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, look inside those ears, man. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get that bone out. <laughs> All right. Sure, dude. You can initiate a Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near a wild Pokemon. Oh, quick attack. If a wild Pokemon does not see you approaching and you strike them with one of your partner's Pokeballs, this will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra chance. Oh, I, I see. That's cool. So, yeah, there's a benefit to engaging in battle when they don't know you're there. You can get your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. Strong style. Mm, yeah. Ooh, got it. Or agile <laughs> style. Using a move in the agile style raises the user's action speed, which may make the user. Yeah, <laughs> the animations are pretty good too for attacks and everything. <laughs> Looks so good. Strong style moves. Can allow you to attack with more power, but using them may delay your Pokemon's next <laughs> yeah, That's cool. Stand one of your strong style moves. Prepare to be attacked multiple times in retaliation. Oh, using yeah. style moves and strong style moves in battle 
causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more PP. Oh, okay. I get it. When planning your battles. A good strategy is the key to victory. Oh, While surveying wall right. Ride, you may come across a Pokemon that appears different to the others of the oh, same species. Oh, he angry. These are known as Alpha Pokemon and are much larger and have glowing red eyes. Be careful when approaching them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy to take down. <laughs> Here, the player paralyzed them. Style thunder wave to paralyze their opponent, delaying their turns and making them easier to catch, while also changing move priority in an advantageous way for the player. Strategies like this are key to defeating alpha Pokemon. Oh, that looks so cool. I love the attack animations. Cause, yeah, oh, watch out, don't stand too close. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, we lost. <laughs> well. Ooh, customization. Alright, cool. By visiting the clothier, you can customize your character yeah, nice. with a variety of different clothing items. As you progress through the game, you will <laughs> unlock more outfits to purchase. Make sure to pick a style that speaks to you. Here is a quick look at some of the early customization options that trainers can wear. Cool. Always like some good customization. You can also customize your trainer's hairstyle, hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. Oh. The Hisui region can be dangerous, but that doesn't mean you can't look your best. <laughs> right. Cool. Oh, nice. Ah, the noble Pokemon. During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called Noble Pokemon. Oh, here he goes. A strange phenomenon is causing the nobles to become frenzied, making them rampage. Oh, there he is. As part of the Survey Corps, you will be required uh -huh. to calm these frenzied nobles. Lord of the Woods, Cleavor. Simply defeating them in battle I like how they put the name up. It feels like a Zelda boss fight, the way they put the name of the boss on the screen like that. Uh. Watch out, watch out. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Noble Pokemon will attack the player directly, and if you take too much damage, you will black out and need to attempt the battle again. Balance throwing your bombs with dodging attacks. Whoa, watch out. Pokemon. At some point during the fight, the Noble Pokemon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokeball and start a Pokemon battle. These battles are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the Noble Pokemon down. Strong style. Get him, Psyduck. Bubble. Oh, that almost did it. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Finish him off. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of I see. So you have to you weaken him some, then you have to keep throwing more bombs. Oh, I can't wait either. Releases on January 28th, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. We will see you very soon in Hisui. Bye. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I want to see more. This is gonna be so good. I'm getting more and more excited. More I see. Yeah, there. It is. Pokemon Legends Arceus, January 28th. Oh man, we're so close. Oh, I cannot wait. Man. Oh, this looks this looks so good. I'm getting more and more excited the more I see here, you know. So yeah, I like we actually got some real gameplay in this trailer or in this uh gameplay preview video. So yeah, nothing too crazy we didn't already know, but we got to kind of see we see we saw we got to see a lot of it play out, you know. Most of it was stuff that we had probably already been told about in previous trailers, kind of in a general sense. But they kind of went in more detail on some of the features. But it looks so good. But yeah, nothing too crazy and showing off here except just some really awesome gameplay. And doing the quests for Shinx and stuff there. Look at that. That's great. I love it. What did Shinx's ears look like? We got three potions for that. 
And a quick shot, level 9. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, see, we got the action order and the fighting and item and menu and all that stuff. Man, this is going to be so fun. I just want to explore Hisui and every nook and nook and cranny and do all the tasks and do all the things. Yeah, I like there's still some things we maybe we probably don't know about, you know, which would be cool to see, you know, when I, when I play the game. I don't like when they reveal everything, you know, beforehand. I want some surprises. And I'm sure there are a few surprises that they haven't quite, they haven't quite, you know, shown off yet or gone into super detail on. Yeah, if we get a good cool haircut. It's like the classic Dawn hairstyle. Man, but, yep, I am thoroughly pumped. Can't wait to play this game and get my hands on it. We're so close. Man. Yeah, November, or, I mean, January 28th. We're almost there. Just a couple weeks, right? Yeah. We're just literally about, yeah, about exactly two weeks away, almost. So, we're probably not going to get any more trailers, or at least no, no big trailers before... You know, before then, this was probably like the final big push for showing off the game. And I'm sure there'll be some review outlets receiving it soon. And it'll probably get data mined and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm going to try to stay away from some of those spoilers. I don't want to know. I want to be surprised by some of the stuff when I play for the first time. So I've got to try to you know keep blinders on so I don't accidentally see anything I don't want to see. But this was a nice final hype trailer, kind of, to get us, you know excited and i'm i'm gonna be there for it i'm all i'm all in so everybody uh comment below what do you think are you excited for the game uh, i know i am and don't forget to hit that like button it would really help me out and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with all my videos and i'm sure i'll be doing some let's plays of pokemon legends arceus when it comes out playing through some of it on the channel you know so Tune in for that. And everybody, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, stay safe out there, and I will see you next time. Bye.